Hey all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from Missouri. Now is Missouri north or south? What's your opinion? Yeah, uh, it's up for debate. Okay, so we're south gonna, mostly. We're south. Say. Okay, we're gonna say south. We're in Branson, Missouri, in front of the Velvet, the Velvet Collection, collection. car museum and attraction. The car museum with some authentic movie cars. We're gonna check out here. So follow us. And Andy, before we get started, tell tell us about your channel. Uh, I do weird food reviews, strange sodas. I do a lot of barbecue, just a lot of interesting food content. Hey, have you ever tried that cat pea soda? <laughs> no, one of those Lester's fixin' sodas? Yeah. No, I haven't. I hear they're mostly just gross out sodas. Yeah, they're gross. <laughs> All right, follow it's us. Andy Cook's food. Oh, Andy Cook's food. <laughs> All right, so I'm being told this is a van used in a Rob Zombie movie called 31, which I've not seen. But apparently, this is the authentic van from the movie. All right, we can actually go inside here. This is super cool. I think this R2 just said something. I don't know how to make it. There we go. It to be some sort of high heel mobile. All right, so we have the authentic old Knight Rider there kit and then the new not so popular kit right there. This is Miami Vice, and I've not seen Miami Vice. Who, who are the figures here? Uh, it was Don Johnson's car in Miami Vice. That's Don Johnson? From the 80s, Don Johnson, Miami Vice. And then who's that back there? Uh, I don't even remember his name. Is he on a Segway? Mark, Mark Paul Glossler? Mark? No, that's not him. That's, <laughs> that's Saved by the Bell. I don't remember. What is this? Some sort of Dr. Seuss car. It's Sookie's car from True Blood, which was an amazing show for about two or three seasons. The first three seasons. And then it, wow, did it jump the shark. <laughs> All right, so I'm in Sookie Stackhouse's car. She must have been hanging out with Bill, making out, drinking blood, all that good stuff. Oh, look at this. This is a cap. Probably, this cap is probably. Is it a True Blood cap? No, no, but let's, <laughs> yes, yes. Let's just pretend it is. <laughs> so this is Lindsay Lohan's Herbie. Looks like it's, I guess, meant to look like a piece of junk. It's got Target signs on the back, or on the side, rather. It's a car from Wayne's World. Let's see, does it have a licorice dispenser? What's up, man? So this car was officially headbanged in by Mike Myers and Dana Carvey. And here we have Flintstones. It looks like it's made out of logs of some sort. And here's a working replica of Luke Skywalker's hover car. Working replica confuses me because I don't didn't know yet hover technology yet. It's the bicycle from Small Soldiers. I guess not every vehicle has to be automated. And then there's uh, Tanya Tucker's dress. Why not? Look at that. Elvis's motorcycle. Or Motorized tricycle rather, but still it belonged to Elvis. It's a Jeep from Land of the Lost, which is I don't think I don't think anyone people don't, people don't talk about that movie too much, do they? No, it doesn't get a lot of love. It's pretty it's pretty weird. Not bad really. It's like this generally is not from the original series, but from the 2005 Moody movie, the one that uh, Cooter hates. You can see there's actually something like welded onto the top to like mount cameras or do a stunt or something. Bunch of people waving at me over there. The Terminator hearse. Look at that. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Stick a knife in me. Oh, look, there's Tattoo's little tiny car from Fantasy Island. And here's Mike's car from Breaking Bad. And was there meth in here? Or <laughs> what was there in there? It was. The oh, okay. That motorcycle there from Deep Impact. It's Elijah Woods. Elijah Woods. And then, oh, look at that beautiful Batmobile there. 
the George Burris Batmobile. Oh wow. Oh look at that. The bat phone right there. Excuse me. Bring me the penguin. Anti-theft device. Those actually did something. What did that turn on? <laughs> oh, that's the, the cooling fan. It's, it's on the screen. It said anti-theft device. It's an anti-theft device. It makes you jump. <laughs> Alright, now this is the Bat Cycle. And I guess Robin would ride side saddle, but um, it's really awkward. So how do I even get in this? <laughs> would ride it like this. This is dangerous because if you got even the slightest accident, you would be launched neck first into the road. This is this is absurd. Why wouldn't you just have a normal one where you can sit down? In? Yeah. That's hilarious. Not any good way to like get out that of here. That does not seem comfortable at all. It's from SWAT? Yeah. I'm not sure what Spider-Man's doing there. No, it is from a Spider-Man movie. It's from the Amazing Spider-Man. Okay. This here is the exterminator truck from Men in Black. I was actually just having a conversation with my friends Timothy and Mark over in uh, Gatlinburg where we were talking about some of the attractions there. And we were wondering, whatever happened to Elvis's boat that was in the Guinness World Records Museum? Well, it's right here! The Hound Dog! Right here. We got the old Death Race car, which that movie's pretty funny. And the new Death Race, which I don't think it's as funny. There's Ed 209, the, the evil robot. They can't walk downstairs. This is from The Sopranos, driven by James Gandolfini. Mystery Machine from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. It's signed by uh, Jay there in the front. You know, one time someone asked me what the worst Kevin Smith movie was, and I said Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and they said, what about yoga hosers? And I said, you're right. This is a Who car from uh, when the Grinch stole Christmas, driven by the Grinch, and wait a minute. Huh. Is that the Grinch? Okay, this has gotta be maybe the coolest thing here. The shaggin' wagon from Dumb and Dumber. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this has gotta be like the coolest movie car of all time. So Death Race and Logan's Run combined. Okay. So Megaforce. Not heard of that one. I do like this time machine here. H.G. Wells' time machine. So a more shiny, pleasant version of the mystery machine. It's the A-Team van? Yeah. All right, for all you ladies out there, there's one of the cars from uh, Twilight. It's the Men in Black car. Now, I, I recently listened to a podcast on the real Men in Black, on a last podcast on the left. Very, very different from the movie. You're next to DeLorean. Apparently, they actually have a working hovercraft. This uh, car belonged to Oscar De La Hoya. Apparently, it is the most insane lowrider ever. I mean, look at those seats. And he's got like a mermaid on his neck. <laughs> Classified Moto makes this bike to his spec and then they deliver it to him on the set of Walking Dead. And so uh, he like took it over to the producers and he goes, we need a new bike for me and these guys need to make it. So then they went and they made the two bikes that he uses now on the show. But it's the same company, Classified Moto. This one actually belonged to Norman. There's pictures of him sitting on it and it's pretty cool. Awesome. It's still, it's still titled in his name. So it's very similar to the, the bike from the show. And that's actually him sitting on this bike. Norman so Reedus' motorcycle. 
is it's got an LS1 motor here. It's got this gimbal set up and then it sets on top of it and then it's four wheel steer. This guy here controls the back wheels, the steer for the back wheels, and he also controls the gimbal. And the guy up front controls the gas, the brake, and the front wheel. That seems like a lot of coordination. Oh, well, when, <laughs> when, when I took this outside driving and yeah. my manager- You drove this? <laughs> yeah, my manager was sitting back here and we're going, and he goes, he spins the wheel and I'm like, whoa, I guess we're turning. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, yeah. So this so, would, so the the yeah. space car would sit on top right mm -hmm. here? From Total Recall. Wow. Talladega Nights, but it's only half a car. So I imagine like someone would be running along pretending, I don't know how it worked, but it's half a car that used in Talladega Nights. All right, so you're telling me this monster truck here was from the movie Bruno? Bruno, Bruno. This was this was the big truck that uh, Sasha Cohen drives, drives through I think he just drives it in a straight line in the movie but uh, there's pictures of him like in in camo like in it looks like he's in the outback and he's just chilling in it and when they sold sold the truck they uh, uh, he sent me a little note that says enjoy my truck I like sex awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah I'm never driving this again all right, so the Velvet Collection, one of the coolest car museums I've ever personally seen. I want to thank Scott for letting us play around in his museum. I want to thank Andy for taking me here. Check out his channel. It's Andy Cooks Food. Andy Cooks Food. All right, and also I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please uh, check down in the description if you like these videos. An interactive map that'll show you all the places I've been, and you can make suggestions on where you feel I need to go. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, I have a t-shirt shop as well as a Patreon. You donate at least $3 a month. I'll send you postcards on my journey. But for now, this one's in the bag.